today it's a great pleasure to welcome Tom Jones for an interview following his graduation from the Altrincham Football Club uh, Academy. Tom, uh, it's the second time you've been in front of the cameras. We did a, an interview with uh, you and uh, Ryan Ford the uh, season before uh, last. And first of all, congratulations on um, your graduation Thank from you. the academy after two years, and of course, uh, being selected for uh, the Altrincham Football Club first team squad for the twenty. 324 season. It's very exciting times for you. Yeah, it's really exciting. I'm, it's a pleasure to be here with you and doing the interview. Um, I'm really looking forward to the new start with the, the gaffer and Neil. I'm going to be um, working really hard, make sure I put everything into, um, into everything at the football club and hopefully pushing for a, a start eventually. Hopefully that'll be, that'll be perfect. So it's a fantastic success story coming through from the age of uh, seven, from the under sevens, uh, and now a member of Altrincham Football Club uh, first team. That's brilliant, not only for the academy, which uh, is, is four years old, but also for Altrincham Juniors, which is much longer established, but has grown as we've become a real community club over the last 15, 20 years. Yeah, I mean, the club's been fantastic for me. It's been a great step, uh, great pathway for all players um, loads of brilliant coaches and it gives you a really good insight on how to get into the first team and how to how well run the club is to be fair Thank you. you're following in uh, some famous footsteps because uh, Duncan Watmore was the, the first player to come through from Altrincham uh, yeah. Juniors uh, to the uh, first team and subsequently uh, played in the Premier League and England under 21s um, uh, we'll have to see how far how far you go, but that's pretty inspirational stuff. It really is. That's I mean, that, that's where I want to be. To be fair, that's what I want to achieve in football. I want to get to the highest level, be um, resilient, and determined to make my way all the way to the top, and um, get a great experience out of playing here. And then, so the last season. Um, we were in a new league, the uh, National League Under-19 Alliance Northern Division, um, which is a, a stronger league than we've been in the season before. Um, but your season was, was interrupted quite badly by injury. Yeah, um, unfortunately, at my end of September, I got a, a ligament damage in my ankle. So that, um, that stopped me from playing for four to five months. I was in quite a low low self-esteem low, low low place at the at the time to be fair i thought i held held it up quite nicely to be fair but it's a really good it's like a was speaking to the the manager saying it was actually a good not a good thing but as in it's a good experience to um have an injury at, at an early age so you can really understand what it's like in the in the in the game and how you can get better, and I think uh, left, my left uh, my left foot's actually come back stronger than my right foot. Not not uh, shooting wise, but just in strength and stability and stuff like that. And there were high hopes for you last season because uh, in the very first, or we played two pre-season friendlies on the uh, the uh, first day against West Isbury and Charlton and Withenshaw Town. Yeah. And in the second of those at uh, Withenshaw Town, you came on. Um, and I know it was a really proud moment for uh, for Paul Fay, Sarah Newton, um, Ross Spate as as, as well yeah. that you came on in uh, that game. So things were really set up at the start of the season, um, and it was a, a big big blow to get that injury. It was a little bit of a blow to be fair, but it I felt like I did deserve um, that 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 um, that game to play for uh, against Women's Shaw. And I think I worked really hard last year. Working up with all the players and the coaches, helping me build up my um, my confidence, and it um, it was a really good experience. I mean, I I got a great buzz out of playing for the first day. I mean, it's it's what I've really been like looking up to. Like when even when I was my confidence was really low and I was younger when I was probably mid-teens I was like I'm not going to make it in football really <laughs> I've always had that 
ability, I think, but I've never had the confidence. But now I think I re really regained it from the manager giving me that opportunity in in the um, in the summer last year. And from then on, I, I felt confident in my um, skills and hopefully uh, and and working hard with my teammates and yeah, it's really good. And tell us what's what's your favourite. Uh, Position that you like you like to play, and a little bit about you as a as a footballer. Um, I like to play anywhere across the front line. To be fair, and it left wing, right wing, just behind the strike or maybe up front if if they want me to play there. Uh, I think I'm quite a direct player. I like to play the right passes, get the right shots off, and I'm quite det I'm really determined um, with what I do. I always put my put my all in every game and um, work hard for all my players and uh, yeah it's great I saw you in uh, the penultimate uh, game of the uh, academy season at Edgerton against uh, Solihull Moors and you scored a terrific goal in that game I think you were playing as a sort of number 10 at the time yeah. it was a, a really really good strike yeah I mean I think their defender must have slipped up or something, so they played me right, right through. Um, but then I had to dribble past and then slide it back in bottom corner. Luckily, um, well, unfortunately, actually, um, we conceded like right at the last minute, so unfortunately we did lose that game three two. But it was a good fight back in that second half because we were we weren't up to our standard in the first half. But look, we clawed it back to two two. But then, unfortunately. We conceded a, a penalty at the end. Yeah, very dubious uh, penalty, but you, you're absolutely right. The, the performance was very, very good in in that uh, second half, and I know that uh, the, the management were were very happy with the uh, with with the outcome. But uh, uh, I watched the the second half with uh, with Matty Coslo, and he was was really impressed uh, with the team against a very good and strong Solihull side. Yeah, they were very good. They were. They had loads of, I know Paul Fay, the new Cheadle manager now, told us they had loads of graduates coming in to their first team as well. And it was a really tough test because I think the first time we played them, I was injured, but the um, first time we played them, we won 3-0. But they, they played like their second team, so it was a real difference, shot maker for all the rest of the lads. Um, because they were a great side, but we did put a really good um, effort in the second half. I'm unlucky to um, not come away with a point at least. And how and when did you find out uh, that you were going to be uh, offered the opportunity to be part of the uh, the Altrincham first team squad for this season? <laughs> um, I found out literally, um, I'm not sure, about a week or two, oh, 10 days ago, whilst I was on holiday in Orlando, Florida. So. I was I, I miss I had to miss the first session on Monday unfortunately because I was I was I was still flying <laughs> from from uh, into Manchester at about twelve o'clock but um, I got the call from the gaffer at uh, early morning on some <laughs> some very warm day at, at at the house where I was staying at and it was it was so it was such a exciting moment because I knew all. My, all the other some some of the other players as well that have just um, been offered as well. I'm really looking forward to joining the team and hopefully build some better really uh, better relations as well. Good team. Well, what an exciting uh, moment uh, for a, for a young uh, a young player. And um, what were your expectation levels in terms of uh, whether you might get offered something? Um, I felt really confident coming out of last year, and then after my injury, I was feeling a bit a bit um, hesitant whether that was just just nerves I don't know but I came out I think I came out the second end of the season really really well uh, I worked hard getting back to fitness and playing my football as, as I know I could as I know I could have and uh, I, I was it was just loads of <laughs> it was a lot of waiting I was just patiently waiting though I wasn't like saying anything like where's my contract 
<laughs> you were way just... too impatiently. So um, flying back from Florida on Monday, that yeah. means you've just had the, the, the one session so far. How's that gone? One session, yeah. It was really good. It's such a great experience, you know. Um, got given breakfast, um, work with the physio, fit, doing fitness testing, and then strength and conditioning with uh, Foxy. Um, and then having lunch made by a, a chef, it was, <laughs> it was so much different to how I've ever like been in football and then did the gym work as well, doing strength and um, in, our, in our legs and stuff. Um, and it was, we had a meeting as well for a, about half an hour talking about time management, how important it is um, and uh, the, f- the focals of of the football club and how it's run and how they want to achieve this season I think I think we we will achieve big this season it's certainly an exciting uh, time for the, uh, for the for the football club um, because you've been around the football club for such a long time you'll have seen the first team on many many occasions yeah. and you'll, you'll have seen how much the football club has developed in the last 10-12 uh, years yeah the football club's been up and down it's been down and up I mean it's been it's it's been unbelievable I mean a few years back we were only in National League North and then now we're up back in National League and I reckon we'll push big things in the future because we've got really good people around the club great a great manager a great assistant manager loads of great coaches around the club physios all the backroom staff everyone's part of the it's all a big really big team and they're working hard to achieve big for this football club and the facilities at uh, Edgerton are, are, are top notch yeah they're really good they've got a um, great gym supply um, great a great pitch uh, grass and astro um, great sources as well we've got loads of equipment we've got tracking devices on our vests which we use to analyse running performances and stuff and it was yeah I was really I was really impressed I'm looking forward to it carrying on well Tom Jones congratulations once again on your graduation from the Altrincham Football Club Thank you. Academy all the best for the coming uh, season we uh, really do wish you uh, a very very good season and hopefully stay injury uh, free and show us what you can do for Altrincham Football Club Thank you very much appreciate it